Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. So here we are at Solitude. We're in the castle courtyard and we've come to look at the Thalmor headquarters player home. So that's interesting. It's a new one last month by Swefrida and I looked at this and I put it on the list to do but wasn't really prioritizing it because when I first looked at it I mistakenly thought that it needed a bunch of requirements. It actually has only one hard requirement and that's animated HD Thalmor banners. Um, I also chose to install extravagant interiors for Solitude as well because I just love that look. It gives it the whole mm, clockwork castle type vibe in there, you know? Um, the alternative is that if you don't install that then it'll just look like the normal odious Solitude stone. I haven't tried it with um, another Solitude which is a brilliant mod which changes the look of the stone in the houses. Uh, but I might well do that just for, you know, my own curiosity. Okay, so you come up the stairs and this is what you see. Wow. So I love the, the tree and we, I can see we've got a little roof deck up there. And then, there we go. Offices of the Thalmor Justiciarius. Justiciarius, bloody hell. Okay, so, um, yeah, if you're a supremacist high elf whose goal is to weaken the empire and end talus worship then this is the house for you and we will be judging you so in the mailbox there's a letter uh, it knows my name bloody love that thalmor headquarters left unattended for a while it's been rebuilt to its former glory use it well blah 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 okay so yeah and it really is glorious let me tell you so let's have a look Okay, so it comes with a bunch of features. I have no idea why mine seems to be a little bit foggy in here, um, but I'm overlooking that. Do you see what I mean about the wonderful decor? Oh my goodness, it's so fantastic. And there's a wardrobe as soon as you come in, all the gear hanging up, miscellaneous items. The storage in here is fantastic. Uh, it really is. The white gold concordat on the wall, nice. Um, there's name storage everywhere, which is just perfect. I love the floors. This table has a fantastic feature. Um, and I'll show it to you in a second, but just look at all that. Very neat strategy area. So, travel to the Alinor Resort. I'll save that to the end. Oh my God, I love that, don't you? When there's a portal to somewhere else. Uh, and this is particularly special. Okay, so we've got a library round here, plenty of bookshelves, very nice deco, it's all static, I appreciate that, gorgeous colours, a little table, Inigo is in here somewhere, I'm not quite sure where, up to no good probably, fabulous artwork on the walls, and then at the key rack by the front door you'll find a key to a cabinet, it's this one. Okay, so if you desire to torture anybody, then you can. Um, why not? Oh, search Talos amulets. I guess these have been taken from the victims. And uh, to set out the torture tools, you'll see there that the, the big cauldron's gone and now it's back again. Ouch. You can also open the Iron Maiden. It's nasty. Oh dear. <laughs> oh my god, where's his legs gone? Okay, so that's that. I like that it's hidden away, so, you know, you're not necessarily having to see that at any time. If you decide not to open the wardrobe, then it's all good. Okay, we'll go on to the upstairs in a bit. Look at the paintings, though. They are really nice ones. Shrine of Oriel. It's everything you would expect it to be, isn't it? It's a crafting basement which we'll go into in a tick. Here's the bar area and kitchen prep. Very nice serve food. So at the moment the table is blank. Nice little trick from Elysium here, as you can see. You can also use the sinks, there's running water. And this is just lovely. And yeah, storage for, for everything. Oh, way, hey dude, sorry. <laughs> you just popped up right in front of me. Where have you been? 
uh, uh, yeah, and a big old storage area. Look how attractive this is. Oh, I wonder if it's the cold from the freezer that's going upstairs, maybe. Okay, baking supplies. Food storage. Oh, there's a painting behind there as well. Ah. Okay, this is just lovely, isn't it? Uh, who's going to tell Inigo that dinner's already made? There's an oven, a butter churn, very nice picture of gourds, <laughs> and the dining room that is big. And this is this table is perma set for meals. Wow! Oh, how pretty though with the sweet rolls. Love that. Did I tell you? I'm sure I did in a previous video sometime that I actually made sweet rolls once. They, they weren't. I have the, you know, the Skyrim cookbook. They weren't that successful. They were all right, but they really need to be eaten that day. And by the next day, meh. Okay, room for six followers. Oh, by the way, I haven't mentioned it before, but all of the fireplaces in here, you can turn on and off. Brilliant. I did see this place uh, in its, um, oh my God, how adorable do you look in that picture? <laughs> um, I did see this place in its just, you know, naked state as in without the extravagant interiors. And it, to me, to my eye, it's not half as charming, but that is just me. And I know this won't be to everybody's taste. Okay, so this is cool. Very nice indeed. Let's have a quick look down in the basement. So we've got a full basement down here with all our crafting gear. And again with the storage. Nicely done. Plain old stone down here. Look, wood chopping block. And yeah, melee archery and ammunition. One sultry mannequin, tanning rack, smelter. Oh, you might get <laughs> you might get overcome by fumes, but yeah, this is very cool. All of the things that you need, very comprehensive, and not a bad setting, eh? How nice! All right, then going back upstairs. Find the staircase. There we go. It's behind you. <laughs> Trying not to give you motion sickness. Oh, how pretty. Look at that. How lovely. Very nice indeed. Whenever I see piles of rugs like this, I always wonder, is it going to be, you know, like leaf rest where you can change the rug, but not here. All right, so that's the outside deck. Here's your bedroom. And it's very lovely. I've also got rustic windows installed, so that may be why these windows look like this. How nice, look. Super pretty. Display case there. Don't think the wardrobe's held any secrets. Treasures and artifacts, big old comfy bed. Fabulous painting above it. Your office. Oh, by the way, writing a report, that'll enable you to save your game. Clothing and armor, amulets, gems, blah, blah, blah. Again, the lightable fireplace, and then there's a spider imbuing chamber. Ew, complete with a spider right next door. And staff enchanter, an enchanter and alchemy. And these are nicely done, aren't they? Different, unusual. Plenty of storage again, and yeah, this is really very cute. Oh, it feels very lush, don't you think? I found more edict on reproduction. What? Oh yeah, by the way, this does come with um, custom letters and books. Oh, how nice, thank you. <laughs> I don't think I've mentioned that so far. A couple of mannequins there, and this stunning bathroom. There's also... Uh, basement with running water and some of these little notes that you'll find here and about. Don't go out without washing your hands, you filthy animal. <laughs> okay then. And here is your chamber pot. 
very nice commode. Look at the curtains for privacy. That's adorable. A bit of lavender and some flowers and perfumes. A small washing area. And then the bath itself. I'm looking for a plaything. Find me at the Thalmore Embassy. Ooh, yikes. Okay, so to fill the bath, you'll find a chain pull right here. And instantly, wow, isn't that lovely? The paintings on the side, so nice. This also asks you if you want to undress. All right then, love this. No, stop asking me. <laughs> Did I have lag then or what? I'm not sure. Okay, let's have a look at the outside terrace. Okay, so this is super beautiful up here. I've already planted up these planters, the ones at the back anyway. And yeah, because this one is a keeper for me, this mod, I think it's just stunning. Look at that. So pretty, you can climb the ladder to get in. Great views. Oh, it's a bit foggy right now, but you know. Smashing, look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is adorable. And I'm so glad that it's got the, uh, the planters because I was wondering if there were gonna be any. Check me out being all artistic right here. All right, let's go and have a look at our little portal. All right, so the portal, where are we? Here we are. This is super cute and I just love this whole idea. It takes us to an Alinor resort. For a change. Okay, so there's company here. Um, there are two guards right here by the portal and uh, there's also a couple of other dudes just hanging around, plus the bartender who will sell to you food and drink and whatnot. Look how stunning this is. I did try clambering my way out of here, and whilst you can get a good way up, um, you can't get out, and why would you even want to? This is super beautiful. I don't know what these little things are, but they are so cute. I want to pick them up and hug them. <laughs> so sweet. There are also these rather fabulous sunbeds. Look at me in my winter gear. I was not expecting to come on my holidays, but um, I love this feature. Also, in the water, if you're inclined to go for a swim, you will find treasure. There it is. Check that out. So it comes with all these goodies. How nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> There's also, if you fancied staying the night, you've got this wonderful cave, and if you thought you were gonna end up with a horrible old bedroll, may not. Look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. Gorgeous daybed. You can also sit on the floor. Oh, you can cook. It's just fab. Very nice. Oh, and all the plants here are just stunning these things I don't know what they are but they're lovely there's even a sand castle <laughs> oh wow so yeah look red hot pokers hydrangeas all these wonderful plants I'm in love with this area so it's just absolutely my favorite so stunning there's even bits of storage there's a beehive over there too this lovely place look at those I don't know what they are, but maybe olives, bits of cheese, and some. There are so few pleasures in life as fine as your company. <laughs> oh dear, roast skeever. Mmm, delicious. Okay, so I think that that just about covers everything. Most of the main features of this mod anyway. As I always say, there may be the odd thing that I have missed here and there. Download it, check it out for yourself. Don't come for me in the comments. Oh, hello, he's gone. <laughs> oh, adorable. All right then, I'm gonna leave you with that view, call that the end of this video. Say thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Do let me know what you think about this one down in the comments and I will see you soon for the next. Take care and stay safe, everybody.